Well, we told you about the protests earlier this week outside OPPD headquarters. Today, the utility moves forward with a plan to have you pay more for power. KATV News Watch Evans Kyle Gravelin was at today's board meeting. Kyle? Yeah, Rob, in a marathon board meeting that lasted more than four hours and saw dozens of customers speak out in opposition of a controversial rate restructuring plan. But the board had the final say, approving the resolution on a 6 2 vote. Customers packed Thursday's board meeting, but most of them were out of their seats when public discussion was opened over OPPD's rate restructure plan. What gives? To be kind, this is just plain silly. Around 30 people spoke out in opposition of the restructure, all of them agreeing it would hurt low income customers and those making concerted efforts to cut usage. And I've been one of OPPD's biggest fans. But if you pass this rate restructure, I'll be one of your biggest losers. And arguing that OPPD's finances are being taken out on the consumer. OPPD has gotten themselves into a financial predicament. Nearly everyone speaking out, understanding the situation, but urge the board to table the resolution for a better solution. Delay, delay, delay. It's fine. Please delay this vote just at least for one month. So you Although board members Tom Barrett and Tim Gay voted no, the resolution passed. So monthly service charges will increase starting in June. CEO Timothy Burke saying afterward that they still have a lot of work to do. This isn't the end of it. We recognize that. Um, and, and we have some accountabilities on our side to make sure that we put together, I think, the right program. And encourage customers to continue looking into ways to be energy efficient. We'll continually look for ways where we can incent that kinds of energy efficiency. Now, the board also approved a general rate increase that will go into effect January 1st. That increase is, on average, about 4% across all customer classes. Rob? All right, thanks, Kyle.